hello friends what's up so in this video we are going to learn that how we can implement a background image to our activity or view itself so we will see the correct approach we should follow and the wrong approach uh, if anyone is following that wrong approach uh, what are the disadvantages of that and what's the correct approach and what are the advantages of that approach so let's get started so here i have created an empty project but i have uh, you know created some widgets for my activity itself so you can see this is a basic activity where i have a scroll view as the parent because there are number of edit text fields so i want that uh, in the smaller devices it should scroll up the keyboard to you know user can freely scroll it if the content doesn't fit on the screen so this can be the case if you have multiple views in your activity and there can be a problem with smaller screens so i have a scroll view and inside that i have a constraint layout and inside i have three edit text fields so first one is edit enter name second is enter a enter email third one is enter age so now uh, just run our uh, we'll just run our project and we'll see that this is a blank uh, activity with just three edit text fields so uh, sorry so this will be something like this okay so now we can see that we can open the keyboard this fields jumps just above the keyboard itself and now if we want that we want to implement a background for this activity so uh, what we can do is we can simply add a background over here so yeah one more thing i have just uh, used a dummy background image for our case so like this we can uh, implement a background to our activity but this has a really big disadvantage that using this kind of method it will just you know uh, not fit for our use case so let me show you by running the application itself that what are the disadvantages of this uh, approach so yeah you can see that the background is implemented but whenever we'll open the keyboard you can see that the background uh, is also getting squeezed and it is just uh, getting squeezed to fill the available area okay like this so you can see that this is the actual thing we thing we want and we want this to stay in the background where it is currently uh, even if we open the keyboard but th that is not happening in this case uh, so it is also moving up with the keyboard and getting squeezed to fit the available region but uh, this is the basic disadvantage of using this kind of approach because the view uh, will actually collapse with the keyboard itself and it will squeeze anything uh, we have taken as a background. So this is a wrong approach. To fix this what we can do is we can simply delete this from here and we will just head to our manifest file and here we can see that this is the base theme for our application. So just open the style file and here what we need to do is we need to define another style for such kind of activities where we want our background uh, image uh, to be implemented okay so just create a new style let's name it as uh, background image style sorry sorry for that yeah background image style and now uh, we'll need to close this style tag and we can simply use the window background attribute over here and we can pass anything we want to be the background of our window or the activity or view so like this so in this case what it will do is it will actually apply the background image that we provided to it as the window background the background for this particular window not just for the scroll view or any inner view so it will apply at the you can say the root okay so after doing this what we need to do is we need to apply this style to our activities wherever we require such kind of thing so in our case it will be the main activity so we can simply apply the theme background image style to it and now when we will run our application so the thing uh, we are the issue we face in the previous approach should not be there so this is our application now 
so when we'll open the keyboard you can see that the background image is in its place and there is no such issue of you know the image getting squeezed or anything so you can see that you can click on any field just the fields will move up with the keyboard uh, but the background is still there this is happening because you know our scroll view we haven't implemented the background to our parent view but rather we use the window background approach for this case so this is the uh, available approach that we can use for such kind of things where we want our background to be stable and uh, it shouldn't react to our keyboard changes so this is the best approach we should follow so that's it for this video and one more thing please click on subscribe and the bell icon to get notified for any of the upcoming updates for uh, my upcoming videos so i'll now try, now try to post a new video every two or three days or if the schedule doesn't allow me then i'll try to post a video by every week so just press the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so you can get a notify uh, notification for any of my new content so that's it so see you in next videos bye bye take care